Premier League is back and Manchester United is going to be kicking it off. So I'll be giving you all the prediction for game week one, Manchester United versus Fulham. Manchester United has been really busy in the transfer market and their preseason wasn't really that good based on the scoreline and still losing to the, in the community shield. So City, Fulham on the other side, they won two and lost one to Sevilla, guarding enough momentum coming into this new season. United will be looking to start their season really strong like a statement win and with Ganacho and Ahmad on what form, I see that game ending 3-1 in favor of United. Ipswich versus Liverpool, one could easily just write off Ipswich Town and say that Liverpool is going to default them. But <laughs> you see these guys, they played the like of nice coffee arms and Shako Donets during the preseason and they didn't lose to them, winning all three of them and plus their impressive form from last season in the championship and now they have signed Kevin Phillips on loan from Man City. Liverpool on the other side has been really terrific playing and winning the likes of Ribetis, Arsenal, Manchester United and Sevilla having a perfect preseason. This game is going to be a challenging one for Hans, Hans Slot because this is going to be his first preseason game in charge of Liverpool. So he will be looking to continue that win. Let's not be like, okay, the only wins he has been having is preseason and which we all know that preseason doesn't really count. If you are winning just preseason games, it doesn't really count. You need to win games in the league. So he will be looking to make his, his mark in the Premier League and at least get his first win. McKinney on the other side, which is the Ipswich coach, he will also be looking to at least make a statement that, okay, we are supposed to be in the Premier League. We are here. But you see this game, this game is going to see goals. Goals are going to flow in this game. And at the end of the day, it is going to be in favor of Liverpool. Liverpool is going to win this game 2-1. Now let's go to Arsenal versus Wolf. Arsenal will be looking to start this season very strong. Guys, if they are going to compete for the Premier League, I will know Wolves. Ha! Ah. What's the very stubborn team? Oh? In, in case you don't know, Wolves is a very stubborn team. Last season, they gave Arsenal a problem. But for the two games they played with Arsenal, Arsenal won them. So I still see Arsenal winning this game. A 2 1 victory for Arsenal. Newcastle versus Southampton. Eddie Howe and his men. Guy. Those guys are not playing. Oh. They are on hot form. The likes of Gordon, Isaac, Amiron, Baz, Jolantin, and Bruno Guimarães. Those guys are on hot form. Newcastle has their complete squad with them. When Newcastle has their complete squad with them, that's when you see Newcastle winning teams like 4 1, 3 0, 6 1, 4 2. 3-0. Now, this game will be a really difficult one for some Southampton. Like, they will try to keep Newcastle's front line silent. And see, I don't see that being possible. But at the end of the day, Southampton will try their best. They will give him a lot of fighting spirit. But at the end of the game, I see Newcastle winning this game 2-0. Everton versus Brighton. Wow, Everton. Well, Brighton has been having massive fun in the preseason with their new coach, Fabian. They have been running riots up and down on teams, winning 5-1, 4-2, 4-0. See, one of their notable wins was against Villarreal, a 4-0 win. They have been enjoying themselves during the preseason. Now, Everton on the other side, not so much. Their only win in the preseason was against Preston. Preston. Now, Everton has the potential to defend tight, but how long will they be able to hold a Brighton side that scores with flair? But if you look back, at their head to head, you will see that you see these guys they have had series of battle with Everton topping the winning chart. Currently, the most informed team is Brighton. I see Brighton winning that game 2 1 victory, or it's going to be a draw, a 1 1 draw. Now, for Forest Bonamont, ha, I don't see Bonamont coming out like being the game winner because they are so Solanke. It was, if it was last season where they, they still have Solanke, I would be like, ah, this match is going to be a really, really tough one. But yeah, I know that um, they played beautiful football last season. Well, ah, that is last season again. And they had Solanke, which was a little finisher. So you know that in world of football, in as much as you have beautiful midfield, you need that number nine. That target man to give you that the goals after the team has passed, pass, knock, knock, knock. You need that finisher, which they had in like of Solanke. Now, they don't have it anymore. Now, why Forrest? I want his back from injury and he's ready to go. Forrest on the other side, they, still, they had a decent decision so far. But at the end of the day, I don't see Bonamont winning this game. I see Forrest winning it 2 1. A lot of might even get an assist or even a goal if he starts. West Ham versus Aston Villa. This one is going to be a very, very strong one. The two sides have been cooking seriously during the transfer market. Also, with West Ham getting a new coach. And you see, for this game, do you know where it really gets complicated for me? Last season, West Ham were very solid at home under Moyes. No matter the team West Ham was playing, they were always at an advantage once they are playing at home. 
is it this game? This game is going to be a token for Aston Villa. It's really, really going to be a token. It's going to be a serious test for Aston Villa. I'm still hoping that they can continue that home dominance with this their new coach. So, but at the end of the day, I see this game ending 2-1 in favor of West Ham or a 2-2 draw. Now, let's go to Brentford. Brentford versus Crystal Palace. The question now is, would Crystal Palace cook teams without Olise? Well, they still have the likes of Easy there, but will they be able to cook teams without Olise? They have been having good results in the preseason and they are looking likely to win Brentford. But on the other side, ah, Brentford is a really, really stubborn team. Like, the, you see, Brentford, very stubborn when they meet teams like this, like teams that are trying to play possession based football. That's when you see Brentford will come with one kind of stubbornness. Before you know, pop, 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 Brentford score, you will now start to fight to score back. That is Brentford for you. A very stubborn team. And you see Brentford and Crystal Palace. In their last six games, they have drawn five and lost one to Crystal Palace, which was their last game. So you see this game at the end of the day. I see this game ending a 1 1 draw. Now, the blockbuster match Chelsea versus Massey. This is going to be a game whereby you see Enzo Maresca will be playing his old boss, telling, trying to show him that, ah, boss, I, I've learned for you and I've still added my own one or two things to, together and I'm trying to, I'm going to win you. You see last season, eh, Chelsea had a very good record with Man City last season. They didn't lose under Pochettino in the Premier League when they were playing Man City. Even when all odds were against Chelsea, they still held themselves firm, not losing a single match in the Premier League against Man City. But <sighs> I don't really see that continuing. Because you see this Chelsea defence, since Thiago Silva left, it hasn't really found that stability and Enzo Muraska has not really found that partnership, like that seal to hold the defense. Because when you look at the like of Banda Shiu, Fufana, you can see that guy, those guys are not giving that solid defense at all. They are not giving it at all. You go watch their preceding game. Look at how teams cook them in that defense. For Muraska to even get a draw in this game, he will need to get his defense line right. Even before even talking about the attack, you need to get his defense line right because you see a master side master side is a attacking side so the first thing you need to get right is your defense before you think of your midfield so from Chelsea to even get anything out of this game that defense needs to be stable for them to get anything out of this game master on the other side yes we know that um master didn't really have a great preseason but this is master come on master are, are more like currently the landlords of the premier league and during the preseason you could see that they were missing the likes of De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva Rodri, those guys currently, they'll be back for this game. So, I don't see City losing this game. I still see City winning this game 2-0. Now, to the last game, Tottenham Spurs. Whew. At the end of the day, I see Tottenham winning this game. There's no much talk. In, in the sense that they have gotten a new number 9. And you see their wingers, Brandon, Johnson, Kuleveski. I don't think Postacoglu losing this game. Leicester on the other side. It's not like if Leicester has not been playing good football, but what Tottenham is going to use to win Leicester is quality. So, I see Tottenham winning this game over Leicester 3 2. If you've not still subscribed for the channel, kindly hit on the subscribe option. It's going to be on this part of your screen. Hit there so you become part of our young and growing YouTube community. Smash on the like button. Give this video a thumbs up. We're really going to like that. It will encourage us to produce more of these contents for you. And also leave us a comment. We're going to give you a kind response. Okay, and also stay tuned for our next update and you're watching everything football.